Okay, so today I put in a couple of seat covers in this old 91 Chevy Suburban. Uh, stopped in Cabela's the other day. They had a couple of mismatched ones laying around. I said, okay, well, on sale, we'll give it a try. Figured out that one actually fits better than the other. So for those of you out there looking, as items and seat covers and things are getting a little hard to find for these old square bodies, let's take a look and I'll show you which one fits better. It wasn't the one I thought. We'll start off with the low back bucket seat. As you can see, I got the box sitting in there, so screenshot it however you need to do so. This one actually came with a headrest situation. And the low back, these old Chevy seats, we considered them tall backs back in the day, but this day and age, uh, seats have changed quite a bit over the years. This one's got a Velcro or a zippered section up top for the actual um, seat cover or the headrest section. But as you can see, it doesn't really contour in quite like the other one over there. I'll get to that one in just a second. There is no Velcro or zippers down the sides of this uh, low gear or low back style. So what I ended up having to do is take a pair of EM EMS shears and I cut a slit up here and with the side lacing it fit in. Well, like I said, for a couple of bucks off the markdown rack, it really didn't matter to me whether I cut the side or not. But it has a really good strap system. There's a strap that runs here in the back across the sides. There's two straps that run through the middle here. And then you got the side lacing on either side. It works really well. So, again, like I said, for cutting up the side here, it worked all right. And then I could double lace and everything worked in. Really nice, tough fedora style fabric and for these old traditional older seats as you can see my arm rests here this one's not so bad that one's getting a lot of wear on it and uh, to go through cover king or one of them you're looking at two or three hundred bucks per row and with a three row setup like this it can get quite costly quite fast so still haven't found anything for the back section here but one more thing I want to show you on these I'll move around to the other side and show you the other one. But again, the low back doesn't fit quite as well as the traditional seat or the traditional bucket seat cover on the other side, which I'll show you in a few minutes. So let's move around to the other side real quick. Pause for a second here. This ranch hand front bumper actually is for a 92 on so like a 92 to 98 um, it's for the bottle after this one yeah, I picked it up second hand guy had an insurance damage deal so what I ended up doing is cutting off here in the corners and cutting the extended uh, headlight guards out moved them in and then it had some longer uh, reach panels on the side here which I bobbed those off and redid the bracket system underneath so Got it to fit real well. These things go for about $1,500, and if you've ever seen one survive a deer hit, they're, I'm not going to say they're well worth their money, but it does take a lot of time to build one of these and a lot of materials. So uh, you get what you pay for, let's put it that way. Moving on. Okay, this is the Trail Gear seat cover for the actual bucket seat cover. As you can see, there's the box right there. So again, screenshot it, write it down, whatever you got to do for it. But this one fit a lot better than the other one. The low back does not fit. The bucket seat cover does fit. I didn't have to do any modifications on the bucket seat cover. The bucket seat cover comes, it actually has Velcro up the sides here. So all I had to do is peel the Velcro back. It pulled into place very easily. I was able to get around my armrests. And it has the same tie-down system of front and back in two places and then one going through the base here as well. And these would actually pull in underneath this old seat and it tied down real well. Uh, good, thick, heavy straps. Sorry, I've already tucked them up in here. And it has a tie system here with a, a squeeze clamp and then you can put a knot in the base of it. But this one did fit real well. There's no provisions for a headrest up here. So it cupped down over top of the seat very well. Of course, it has the actual extra panels for uh, 
a later model seat, but overall I'm real pleased with this one as far as the fit on this older Chevy. Backside does a real good job. I don't know if you can see it with the darkness here, but you've got mesh pockets in here. You've got double pockets here, a mesh pocket and a bigger one. So, like, if you're in a kid situation like us, you're always stuffing extra napkins and things down in there. So, you've got extra provisions for uh, everyday carry in there. All right, there you go. Still working on something for the back seat here. These old 6040s are a little bit tough to find things for. I've got a local upholstery shop. I may be talking to them for that one. And then the third row, well, it's wrapped up in plastic sitting in the garage. So, probably won't have it out for a while. Overall, pretty good old rig. Came out of California. Happened to find it on Craigslist a couple of years ago. No rust. I'm going to try to keep it that way. Even though living out here in Wyoming, they're starting to use salt and mag chloride on the roads. Oh, cursed stuff. But, uh, yeah, overall tight, clean old rig. This one's got a set of worn helper springs underneath it, so it picks it up a little bit more. We're still running the uh, stock 31-10-50s, but hopefully that's soon to change. I think I've laid my hands on a set of... Uh, steel wheels and we'll probably be graduating up to 16 inch pretty soon so if i run 16s i think it's a 265 it is the same height and approximately the same width as the old uh 31 10 50 15. rear bumper custom <laughs> this uh six inch channel iron overlaid with diamond plate and the only complaint i've got is this back end here the tailgate is a pain in the rear and the back glass is painted in the rear, has been a common story with old Chevys for years. I installed a relay system in this one, and I'll do that in a le another video later on. But uh, hopefully I've got a donor lined up. Maybe I'll be converting to barn doors here pretty soon. So, overall, thanks for watching. Catch you on the next time.